Why, right off the bat, I'm seeing something. Pumpkin. Literally says pumpkin. This is not a toy. Is there anybody who thought that this was a toy or that sticker is needed? What is happening where we have to tell people this is not a toy? Come on. Ah, what do we got in the metals? Oh my. Look at the size of that bob. Ooh, what is this? How fabulous is it that it is almost 6.30 in the evening and it's still light out? Oh. I do love when that starts happening again. And there's some exciting news happening at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. We are going to extend our hours till six o'clock starting next week. So this week we've got some little shifts and changes we have to make, but next week the 20th, when we open on Tuesday the 20th, we will now be open until 6 p.m. in the evening. I'm super excited to be doing this because uh, a lot of people have been asking for it. So, also, if you are local and you would like a little real estate inside of the Good Stuff Thrift Store, we are revamping and doing some things to offer whether you want just a shelf, a couple of shelves, a showcase, whatever that looks like for you, reach out to me at the niche lady at gmail.com and we will talk about what works best for you because my mission is for everyone to be able to make some money from this venture okay without further ado I haven't been to Goodwill for a hot minute so I'm going in to see what I can find let's get shop done all right let's get in here it is Monday which means it is one dollar on the previous week's color but first things first lucky card i feel like it's this one tonight oh look at that smooth as butter one dollar color is gray by right off the bat i'm seeing something uh we've got a couple of fun little froggies here oh gosh yes so fun little froggies here they are five bucks each but they are little cast iron frogs and uh, we're definitely picking those up and I also see something else right to my left. That looks like a dream pets. It is a camel. Let's see if it's got its tag. It does. There you go. Let's look at what your little tag says. Kmar. Kmar. Living. Living. What? This one doesn't say dream pets. It says living dolls and pets hmm but made in japan very very vintage you are 2.99 you're fabulous and you are coming with me boy i like starting out just like that we have a lennox a lennox crystal cat how much are you you are 7.99 that's a little more than i like to pay but i feel like because you're lennox I will probably not triple my money on this, but I will probably double my money on this in either a whatnot sale or one of my live sales. And it's super easy to ship. So that's the reason I'm picking this little baby up. Oh my gosh. You know, I don't get into collector plates, but I do appreciate a cute little doggy. These are all papillons. It's the whole papillon collection here. Fascinating, fascinating that there's like a whole selection of papillons. Unfortunately, it is still a collector plate. So, for that reason, we're gonna leave it. Ooh, I just happened to look up. Look at you. You are $20, but you're kind of awesome. Definitely can't pay 20 for you, but we can, we can give you an honorable mention. There we go. Oh, you stay up there. All right, let's look over here. Let's see what we got, this little doll is kind of calling me a little handmade Ooh, 7.99 can't do that and then these look like little worry dolls now see this is only $1.99 I can definitely do that cute little worry dolls I think the story goes that you at nighttime you put these under your pillow you give them your worries and then they all go away overnight 
definitely need these right now. Oh, let's see what other goodies we have. I like the camera planter back there. This marriage was made in heaven, but so was lightning and thunder. Discover wildlife, had kids. These are uh, Trinity Pottery. Again, $7.99. I'd want to be more in like the $2.99, $3.99 range on those to pick them up. So we will leave those behind. We'll keep looking. Got some teacups and saucers made by Greek Art 24 karat Gold Spithis. I see a red tag over here, $5.99. I don't see a price on these. It's no price. They're kind of cool, but I think they're probably going to be in the $6 range, so we will leave those because they just are not worth quite enough for me to pay six on them. Okay, let's look up here. Some pretty things, but nothing too exciting. I wish this wasn't chipped. This is one of those terracotta statues made to replicate the, you know, like the life-size ones. The, um, they're the, what do they call them? The, the guardian, the, the, the guards, the, oh my gosh, the soldiers. Anyway, I'll see if I can pop a little picture up here to tell you what I am referring to. But anyways, he would be one of the war horses, but he's broken tailed and broken right there. So we, oh, we do have to leave him behind. All right, let's look through candle holders, coconut colaba. I was reading it from the bottom kind of backwards. Hmm. Definitely not a glassy baby. It's trying to mimic the shape, but it's definitely not that quality. Oh, hello kitty. Look at you. Look how cute that is. Is it a, like a tree topper? Again, $7.99 seems to be the go-to price tonight. So we are gonna have to leave that behind as well. Maybe when they go to I, if I ever get in here back on a Wednesday when it's senior day, 40% off wouldn't be bad. Or 50% off wouldn't be bad. These are only 99 cents. And these are Susie's Zoo. And I am going to pick those up. Got a little treasure chest. Arg. Very cheaply made. Grey Goose Vodka. What kind of bar? What would they have put in here? It doesn't want to open. I'm sure it's empty, but I was trying to see what the inside, if it was like divided or so. Oh, that's why it slides out. So I still don't know what would be in there. Maybe like a little small bottle of Grey Goose. I don't know. I do, I do pretty good with the, okay, I give up. I do pretty good with the glasses, but uh, I don't know about a box. And it's not in the greatest of condition either. That's kind of cool. It's actually really cool. Huh. Little toe steppers there. Be strong and take heart. It's Psalm 3124. Me, I love all these little I love all these little uh, things that appear in my life that cause me to reflect on the good things. Pumpkin. Literally says pumpkin. It's $5.99. It's cool, but we're going to leave them. I'm going to try to put it. There we go. I don't want anything falling. Ooh, those are interesting, aren't they? Who makes you? Oh, kind of has some weight to it. These would be great out like on a patio table. Pretty chipped though. Pretty chipped. No signature. And at $12.99 with those chips, I'm going to have to leave them, but those, those are pretty cool. I do like them. Oh, another pumpkin. This one's wood. Came from Kmart. This is not a toy. Is there anybody who thought that this was a toy or that sticker is needed? What is happening where we have to tell people this is not a toy? Come on. Let's see. Oh, are you glass? 
the hourglass. Hmm, kind of a cool piece, but it's not as old as you would think. How do I know that? Because there is a feel that old glass has, and there's a construction of old glass. This actually has like glitter in it. And generally old glass doesn't have glitter in it. That is not how they made the sparkle in glass back in the day. Oh my, oh my, oh my. We've got a Chucky mug. Wow, wow. Um, I don't know why I think that this would actually sell. It's a little, gr I can't. I, I'm, I'm gonna leave it for somebody else because I just can't bring myself there. It's just, it's just too gruesome. We don't need to spread that kind of negativity around here. I do like the little birdhouse. Again, so I asked about um, what kind of bird would go into this small of a hole, and I was told some kind of a little wren would use these. And I do like the little church. He is only $3.99. So I think I will pick that up, but I will probably put this in my booth at the Good Stuff Boutique. And of course, if somebody wants to buy it right through this video, I'm always open to those offers coming through my email. I have all that info down in my description. Oh, I see a willow tree. You are a very, very broken willow tree. That is very, very sad indeed. I'm not opposed to picking up willow trees at the right price, but they definitely can't be broken. I do like a kitty cat shelf sitter for $3.99. Oh, He's broken too, but you know what? At $3.99, I feel like a little sanding and then a little coloring in that ear and he is as good as new and a great decoration for somebody. So that's the right price. I'm picking him up. All right. Let's see. Oh, lots of signs, lots of signs. Nothing we need here. Oh, what do we got in the metals? Oh my, look at the size of that bottle. For $24.99, it is a Vidrio San Miguel recycled glass. But that thing is huge. I would probably have to put it for like $25 in my booth, maybe $35, so I can't pay $25 for it. Little, little box that was from the dollar store. What is this? Diversity Leadership Development United States Postal Inspection Service. That's interesting. Interesting indeed. Not the kind of... See? It's another sign. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that. Goodness gracious. That, that is a big one. That is a big one. Oh, what do we have here? A little copper mold that is a kitty cat. $6.99. I don't like that it's $6.99. Now what's interesting, you see that $6.99 on there? And then there's this. This is $8.99, but it's loose here on the shelf. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I just don't know that I want to pay $6.99 for him. I don't, I don't think I do. Hmm, so we're getting away with nothing in the metals tonight that I can see. These might not be bad around the new pond is what I'm thinking. If you're wondering what pond I'm talking about, if you go back and watch my video where I shopped the shelves of the Good Stuff Thrift Store, I also showed you the new store mascot, Goody, who now has her own pond at the store and I need something around the outside of it. And this would just fill the ticket. I do like the big pink floofy flowers. Come here, big pink floofy flower. I need to see how much you are. Are you worth $1.99 to me? I'm not, I'm not sure you are as spectacular as I find you. I do like these. I'm a little sucker for these little lavender things. This one's in a little burlap basket. No, Danny, be good. Be good. You don't need it. You have plenty. I'm gonna leave it. Ooh, what is this interesting item here? Looks a bit like a hobbyist piece. I'm just gonna say it. 
and it's very off balance. It, it, it's, it's a little worrisome that that is not going to sit well on someone's shelf. And I just don't, I don't, I don't want that on my conscience when it uh, does not go well. Let's see, it's an interesting little gravy boat guy. Home American simplicity. So that's like a, I think that's either a Target or a Walmart brand. Nothing super special. That's a nice Amberina. Hold on, hold on. Watch this. Oh, it, ooh, no, it glows. It's got a glow. It's just so bright in here, but it's definitely got a glow. It's just hard to see it on the camera. It's not as big of a glow as I thought it was gonna be though. I thought it was gonna be a much bigger glow, but uh, it is a cool Amberina piece. Now, let's see how much it is. $2.99. I'm totally all about the $2.99 price tag. What is this little piece? Little stoneware marked JS8222. It's kind of nice. It does have a chip though. I'm really trying to stick to things that aren't chipped unless they're just absolutely super fabulous. I do like the daisies. I feel like this is missing a lid. It's got like the little, maybe it was like for honey. I feel like it's creamer and sugar, but it is missing the lid. Kind of nice, kind of nice. I know I sold some planters the other night because I feel like it's planter season. It's spring. They do quite well this time of year. I don't know. I don't know how excited I am about that one though. I like these that look like little logs. These are candle holders. $2.99, $4.99. Supposed to look like little birch bark. I feel like there was a third one in this set at some point in its life. I feel like it kind of needs that third one too. This looks like a vintage piece, but it's not a super valuable vintage piece. It's just a nice, nice accent piece. Frito-Lay. Well, that's interesting. In like a juice or wine carafe? What's Frito-Lay serving that I don't know about? Clear glass, and we got nothing. All right, little stroll down the plastics. Little stroll, little stroll, little stroll. Oh, a red light. Party LED red light. I don't know, why? Why, Danny? Why is that attractive to you? Sometimes I just puzzle myself. Yeah, we got really nothing exciting in the plastics tonight. Oh, there's more of these. Hot diggity. Now, what I did find out about them is um, they're dessert little plates and they don't really sell for a whole lot. I bought one before. Not one of my better purchases, but I do like it, so it's all good. What do we got here? Creative Manor Japan. Little green, nice little pattern. That's a pretty large set right there. And I'm not seeing so much in the dishes tonight. Probably a good thing. Don't need to be dealing with big old dishes tonight. Oh, that's a bummer. Where's your where's the rest of you? There's more of you. You're a lid. Got a leaf. Pier one. It is a pier one stoneware leaf. For $3.99, let's just make sure no chippity doo -dahs. Don't see any. We'll grab that. Let's see what we got in the glassware tonight. I stand back a little bit and I look for something that just really stands out amongst all of the common clear glass. Tonight I am not seeing anything that does that. Nothing, nothing at all. Nope. 
I got nothing in this clear glass section. So we'll move on to the mugs and see what we got in the mugs. Got a cute little creamer, kind of generic. Who are you? Got little scritchelies all over you. Hmm. You're cute, but you are very, very scratched up. What are you? Oh, you got a broken handle. Otherwise, you'd have been kind of cute. Well, I think we are through the mugs and not putting any in the cart tonight. All right, a few more dishes to go through. Oneida. I think I looked at these the last time I was here. I do, and they are gray. They are half price now, and they are Limoges. So for two dollars and fifty cents, this time I'm picking them up. It's kind of a cute spoon rest. Nothing too fancy, but it's cute. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice bottle. Two ninety-nine. I feel like that's got a little bit of age on it. Quality Brands Ink. Hmm, I like the ribbing on that. It's very decorative. You know what? Two ninety-nine. We're picking that up. All right. Well, let's see what else we got. Some lemons. Lemons. Nope. I don't see anything else calling me over here. So they brought out a cart of goodies. Look at the sloth. Oh my goodness. Look at you. How old are you? You were a, Ma a Walmart sloth. So you never were that expensive to begin with. And you're only a dollar less than you were to begin with. I really need to just leave you there. See? Oh, he's a UNLV rebel. I don't know if these are collectible or not. Hmm. He is $2.99. I think I'll leave him for somebody else who knows more about him. It's not particularly my niche. Nothing there. Nothing exciting on this cart. This is an interesting mirrored tray. It's not in the greatest of condition. And it's not very old, but ceramic cheese markers. Crumbly, creamy blue. Blue. There's two blues. Mature. Hmm. There's no niche variety on there, though. Yeah, we're looking through the... This is supposed to be like the cookware section, but it looks like a few different things have gotten kind of thrown in the mix over here. So that's why you always have to look, because you just never know what you're going to find in any particular section of the store. I look even in the sections where I'm really not interested in what the stuff is, because you just never know. Copper, $6.99, and it's in really bad shape. This piece is also quite interesting, but they are asking $12.99, so we're going to leave that one behind. Oh, we're getting over into the mishy mashy stuff. Again, never know what you're going to find in this section. That's what makes it so interesting, right? Hmm. Nothing exciting. Let's go look over here in the bathroom stuff. Sometimes you can find a cool. But why? Seriously, people, why would you do that? Oh my goodness. Ugh. I'm just baffled. I'm baffled. People baffle me. Alright, let's look through here. Hmm. Cash the soccer rocker. Zappos. Again. Not my niche, but I always look to see if I recognize 
anything extra special that gets put in something like that. I don't see anything extra special. Crafty stuff, an old projection screen. Hello. I know. He's just a little massager thing, and I am not buying him, but how cool. It's a turtle. All right. Let's see. What else we got in the pet section? Nothing. What are you? Little quilted cat, but it's, it's not super attractive. It's only 99 cents, and I still can't bring myself to buy it. Why? Why can't I bring myself to buy the 99 cent cat? He does have a little stain on his face. Oh, I just can't. I can't. He's too dirty. I just, I feel bad. I feel bad that I can't. But somebody will rescue him. I'm confident. Let's look at the lamps. Anything exciting? Let's see anything. Oh, that's interesting. It is a sock monkey shade. I I feel like that was handmade by someone. Like, is it? Did they put it on there? I don't know. I don't really have a lamp that that goes on. And then I have this tendency to get too many shades that don't have lamps. And then I get myself in trouble trying to store all these shades until I have a lamp for it. So I am going to leave that one behind. That is a cute little cane chair. Very, very old, antique. It's still in really great condition. They're asking $20. Mm. I am tempted, but again, it's really hard to sell things like this. And I probably couldn't get more than like mm, 30 or 40 for it. So for that reason, I've got to walk away. All right, let's look through the art. See if there's anything. No, I don't see anything calling to me. No, but oh, look what I do see. They are bringing out a new cart of stuff right as we speak. First thing I noticed that the cart that just came out had this fabulous flamingo dish. It's not marked, but it's a flamingo and it's fabulous. And that's all I need to know because it's only $2.99. I also see a Ziggy Bank. Who doesn't love Ziggy? Come on, he's only $2.99 also. He is a little worn, but aren't we all? Yep, gotta get Ziggy. All right, look through the pillows, look through the pillows. What do we find? I don't see anything in the pillows this time. Nothing in the pillows. There is not much up here in the toy section today. Little creepy dude. <gasps> Look what we found. We got a little poo on the shelf. Graduating poo at that. Oh, you're a harness. That's really cute. What are you? What? You are. You are like horse duckies. You're horse duckies. A W S T. International. <laughs> Those are pretty fun. You know, I'm thinking Rachel's into horses and she's into ducks right now. Uh, how fab would those be for her? An RC flamingo boat. Goodness. And there's big poo on the shell. But nothing much else. Let's see what you are. You are made by Funko. Hug me. Well, you need batteries. You are Disney. I am putting together a Disney whatnot sale. And he is Funko. He's a Popsy for $3.99. We'll take a chance on him. And I found more. I found more horse ducks. Okay, last stop is looking through the purses. Let's see what we got. Look at this little Halloween fabric basket. You are really super cute. But it's a little too early to be putting stuff like that away. When you buy stuff that early, it's really got to be worth it because you are tying up your money. You're tying up your money into stock that has to sit for a while. 
when you could be putting that money into something that's going to sell more quickly. Now, if doing that is no issue, then you're good to go. But if things are a little tight and you need to be turning stock, you have to be careful about what you invest in. You got to go for the quicker flips versus the long tail items. I don't see anything in the purses today that I can't live without. All right, I think that's gonna do it for us. Kind of a light cart tonight, but I got some pretty cool things. I'm gonna give you a recap. I'm gonna tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That is coming up right now. Okay, standing in the checkout line and looking back over at the shelf, I spotted this fabulous basket for just $7.99. So we're grabbing that too. yet it's not that late but if it's I, I don't know the, the, the adjustment it's all good I, I still I like that it was light it was a great thing nice little trip brought out a car to stuff found a couple of goodies not too many I am getting ready to go to Florida this next weekend so I don't want too many things to overload me and have to process this week so it was just the right amount of stuff pretty happy and I'm happy to have found those trees which are the perfect addition around the new pond Okay, please, if you haven't already done so, I would really appreciate you hit that subscribe button. Give me a comment down below. You'd be amazed how much a comment will do. Even if it's just a little emoji, they all count. Uh, so I appreciate you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one. You, go be profitable and make it fun. <laughs>